Hello dear kids good morning let us learn our today's concept by the name interdependence of plants and animals plants and animals are dependent on each other in many ways the areas of interdependence of plants and animals are first one is food and then exchange of gases reproduction and the shelter dear kids plants manufacture their own food in the presence of sunlight the animals like cow deer zebra elephant giraffe rabbit eat the grass small plants and leaves of the trees then insects like grasshopper caterpillar they both feed on leaves the birds feed on fruits of plants and bees on the nectar dear kids plants prepare their own food during the day by a process called photosynthesis so during this process they use the carbon dioxide from the air and gives out the oxygen into the air the animals use oxygen present in the air and gives out carbon dioxide to the air so plants depend on animals for carbon dioxide and animals depend on plants for oxygen okay for the exchange of the gases in this process balance in nature dear kids a balance needs to be maintained between the number of plants and the animals what will happen if there is a sudden of increase in the number of animals or if there is a sudden of increase in the number of plants can you say what happen on that time if there is a sudden increase in the number of animals means plants may not be able to supply enough food and oxygen to the all animals understood all dear kids if there is a sudden increase in the number of plants means the carbon dioxide breathed out by the animals or our human beings they may not be enough for the plants okay similarly if there is a sudden decrease in the numbers of either plants or animals it will disturb the balance in the nature so the nat nature becomes imbalance on that time understood so to maintain this balance in nature we have to protect both the plant and animal life under wildlife protection programs wild animals are given special protection in forest reserves national parks and sanctuaries dear kids programs like the vana mahotsava helps to promote the planting of the trees to plant more number of trees this vana mahotsava program helps a lot the peoples are made aware of the harmful effects caused by the continuous cutting down of trees as you all know if we cut the trees what happens to our daily life we can't get the oxygen so there will be a lack of oxygen isn't it so dear children life on the earth has to go on means a balance in nature must be maintained correctly i think you have understood this lesson let's meet in the next session with a new chapter until then take care have a good day bye